Hello YouTube and welcome back to part 21 of our nuclear blast battle royale and we are doing it guys we are on the homeward stretch at this point now there were a few problems I wanted to point out with this video now the first one was that well I think it's staring right in the face here but secondly I was actually I wasn't even going to do this video today guys because what I was I was trying to look for a song called Every Breath is Every Breath is a Bomb by a band called Hardcore. So I went to check out Nuclear Blast's their official website and you're not going to believe this guys. Apparently it doesn't exist. I've searched everywhere and apparently even the band it d doesn't seem to have anything about this which is really really strange. So I thought I had something else on standby to uh, get started for today, guys. So we're going to be checking out a group called uh, Elovit, and the song is called King. Um, I literally just decided to do Elovit literally on the spur of the moment because the intention was to get was to do a song by Hardcore, but we're going to do uh, something completely different. So this really is literally just like completely out of nowhere we're doing this so let's see if this was a worthwhile decision so if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves the links will all be in the description down below let's begin king in three two one and We're doing a song that has a uh, a a, a hurdy gurdy involved. I've still been waiting to do a video about that bizarre instrument for so long now, but it's going to be worth it in the end by the time we do. But you know what? Uh, points for Elovit for literally bringing something a little bit different, even though we kind of already done a song with a, a hurdy gurdy involved. But you know what? It's an underutilized bit of machinery right there. <laughs> I didn't really want to say anything earlier because I'm 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 enjoying this I'm enjoying this, but also I just realised 
are these guys filming in Ireland? Because that I, I don't I don't I don't know exactly where that's being what what where they're meant to be fielding, but I thought that that looks like uh, Flamana, which is I think in Northern Ireland or what was it meant like Kildare or something? I have I have no idea, but that looks like they're filming in Ireland. I, I wish I could say there's a there's something very. I think it's just by maybe it's just that last playing the violin. Maybe that's what's throwing me for a loop. If I'd actually speak of it, when was the last time I ever did a, a metal song that I... <clears throat> and my, voice, my voice is going, if you couldn't tell. When was the last time I think I ever did a song which featured a violin? Maybe that's what's throwing me for a loop uh, right there. But again, somebody will have to fill me in whether or not they're filming in Ireland or not. But it looks very, very... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll find out at the end anyway, so... uh That's single-handedly the most metal thing I've heard yet. A violin solo in a death metal group. I wish I could complain, guys, but I'm not, because what's the problem? And he's freaking playing a recorder as well. This is... I, that's it. You know what? I think I need to like take a few days off. This is just I, this is too metal for me. Oh yeah, that's right. This is as low as this uh, chair goes. I need again, you chair. What even the hell was Christian Woman typo negative? It's an idiot ten minute song and Hmm. Uh what else have we got here? Uh 2012 wipe, LOV thousandfold. That is definitely somewhere in Ireland, I can tell. Uh 69 Eyes, LOV uh, again, Ghost Love Score Live. Wasn't that that looks like that looks like Tyre Trunum, but that might actually just, just give me one second here, guys. I've got to find out what year that was filmed in. Uh, release end of an era. That's got to be... Uh, that's got to be Tyre. But let's just... Let me check quickly. Yeah, that's 100% Tyre. I'm just going to literally put this... Uh, let me bookmark this page first, because I might have to return to that. Because I don't think I've ever done... I've, I've covered the studio version of Ty uh, Trunin's Ghost Love Score nearly well over two years ago, but I've never technically done her in a live performance before. I've done, like, Phantom of the Opera, and uh, Poet in the... No, Poet in the Pendulum was uh, Annette Olsen. 
yeah, okay. So, anyway, back on track. That guy, ladies and gentlemen, was Elovit and King. And I think it'd be a better idea to just, like, jump into uh, the About section first. The narrator of the song is Ambic... Ambicatus, uh, Ambicatus, who is a 6th century BC king of the Bituquis, uh, the Bituri, the, the Bituriges, the Bituriges. It is possible that he is a fictionalized conflation of several different Celtic rulers. Well, I was partially right about the thing about being Irish, but he is known to be us through Livy. Livy, uh, I, Livy, he would have controlled a considerable part of Cisalpine Gaul, aside from being geographically close to the classical world. Livy's knowledge of him suggests that he was a powerful and important in the Celtic world. In the song, we hear a prayer from... Oh, it's expressed as a prayer. That's, that's interesting. Which portrays him as a pious king with unnauseated theological concerns. He is looking to, for help for the justification of uh, migra migratory slash raiding activity. So he's seeking God to seek out that to to, to uh, strike vengeance upon people who were uh, disarming his good name. I, High King, Sovereign and Servant, Holder of Divine, Regality bestowed in the Ophalios Grove, My Kingship, the Song of the Gods. Thou shalt know me by my fruits. He is basically going through one by one that he is a worthy and noble king and he's begging God for help, which I'd say is a is something he would have done. I would imagine he would have done pretty regularly, but in times of crises like this one, he would be begging more than ever because, uh, you know, I am kingship. I have abundance. You should see the fruits of which I have grown. I am the crown of Gallia. I am the oak in the ne in the Nemeton. I am the servant of autonomous children. I am the will of our gods. Ambicitus is my name. My chosen set forth to conquer, kindling beacons. My kingdom prospered and grew. Thou shalt know me by my fruits, from the Hyaclian forests to beyond the sky-scraping Alps, to which the flight of the crows led us. I... I like that. It's a really, it's a splendidly medieval vibe. A guy, one person, basically now kneeing and praying before God that he would, he, that he should be recognised above all others for his, for apparently being a king gives up apparently some so, some uh, closer collection to God than any uh, peasant would. Now, uh, Elo. I just got to look very, very quickly about into Elevate. Because, again, any group that brings a hurdy-gurdy, a recorder, a violin, you're friggin' going to... Oh, okay, so here's something. Elevate is a Swiss folk metal band from Winterfurve, Zurich, founded in 2002 by Chagrel Klansman. His, his, it's real, it's, that's his real name. G-L-A-N-Z-M-A-N-N. Hmm. So, uh, it, literally a Swiss group s a, a making a performance about Celtic rulers. Where on earth did they, where on earth did, where, where did Nuclear Blast manage to find such great people? Because, I'm actually, gonna, you know what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen? I'm actually going to go through with you a little bit of a little list of just some of the people that I've, I've actually managed to do today. We've done stuff like Opeth, we've done Bal Beast, we've done Nile, Blues Pills, Light the Torch, Fallujah, and Vader. But although technically Vader have been around since the 80s, and the, but oh my goodness, just it's one great. Peace of the world after another. Some from the US, some from Central Europe, some from Eastern, some from Western Europe. <laughs> and we've and it's it's almost a shame as well because we've only got so many of a so so much so much left to go through before we might possibly do the Fallout Rumble immediately afterwards, which was basically just a short handful of uh, groups that didn't get into the. Uh, into the main rumble of the nuclear blast one but it has to be said 
for just literally picking the song up literally at random. I think it was a smart, smart choice. <laughs> Folk metal. I've 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 I've, I've actually seen a couple of a number of these like pop up during my uh, nuclear blast uh, rumble. Maybe. Maybe we should like. I swear to God, by the time we I come back uh, in a year's time, I'm gonna have to set a lot of time aside from. Because it's not just LOVs I've got to look out for. There's there's hundreds of us I've got to check out as well. Because i got to tell you what, guys. You always want to start off with a really, really strong foot forward. And Elovit is ki Elovit's king. Was, it gave us a, a, a bit of Celtic. It, it's a bit like horrible history is really in some way uh, king. Except it's only slightly satirical and only slightly funny because... It was trying to illustrate a pretty serious point. In fact, you know what? Aside from just going off uh, history from what I l from literally just hearing about sixth century Celtic rulers, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to like go a bit like what I said what I was gonna do for Sabaton. I'm gonna have to like go and do whole Wikipedia readings or dig out some history books about uh, Celtic rulers and literally go absolutely crazy because you know what? There's only so much technically we can learn through a song, but there's so much we can learn and we can uh, take advantage of. So, yeah, all right, we should we should do that. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know you guys thought of King by Elovit. Please also make sure to also. Like and subscribe so you get daily notifications when my videos come out. And I hope to love you guys again in the next reaction video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.